Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. Today we will play with the Bargain Geek Box subscription for the month of August. And um, I have actually opened up everything. And I came up with a, a design to do first. Okay, I'm not bead stringing this time. And then I we have some uh, chain. So I cut the chain. Let me measure for you guys. So I did this by measuring my neck. I didn't do so i will know for sure now how much it is so it's going to be a v pattern that's what i have in mind say 24 inches okay and the rest of the chain is this i just cut it so it's going to be a symmetrical necklace and then um i have a pattern in mind so first of all this chain i'll put it i aside so with this chain what i do is i just have to leave leave about three inches let me grab my uh, thing so about three um three inches is good so over here and then i keep this this mark right there okay just for the time being then take the rest of the chain and make it into half we have one length of the chain overlapping by three inches that's what i want you to guys to do and then i cut this into a half let me see one length one side length of the chain is approximately 11 inches the other side will be 11 plus 3 which is uh, 14 inches okay so that's what we have right here okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the toggle clasp because the toggle clasps came with the bargain bead box I'm using it otherwise normally for chain I like to use um, uh, what to say lobster claw but this came with this so i'm using that and i'm going to use some jump rings which came in the last month box okay so some people some of us will have a lot of stash available and some of us will um, build our stash right now who is building their stash right now will not have a lot of jump rings in their uh, at their disposal so that's why i'm using the ones that came in the last month's subscription box open up the jump ring and add it to the end of the chain so i'm finishing up the back part of the necklace okay and adding one end of the toggle clasp and closing it doing the same to the other open up the jump ring take the chain add it add other end of the toggle and then close it make sure it's completely closed now we have the chain ready and then this is a long length and this is a short length with the short length what i'm going to do is um about say four inches okay we need the ruler a lot about say four inches or three inches actually over here I'm just going to make a cut okay there we go so about three inches we have made a cut here I'm going to add um, this uh, necklace is going to be with the red and the green mixed so this bicones um, Take some bicones keep it over there and then we need some wire you can either use a 24 gauge wire or you can use head pins or eye pins that you have I'm going to use some eye pins right here okay and I'm going to take my uh, 
uh, pie cone put it over there and then bend my wire to 90 degrees and then snip off the excess wire okay take my round nose pliers and then make a loop that's how we make a loop i have one connector over here then i'm gonna cut this off and take one bead take another head pin and put this bead inside okay and bend the rest of the wire to 90 degrees snip off the excess one take your round nose pliers and make a loop There we go. Then do the same for one more. The green bead. The color combination may be Christmassy, but it has that AB finish and it looks nice. Take it. Even if you ha don't have the subscription box, you can work this pattern with any beads that you have available so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to open up one of the loop add the short piece of chain that we cut off okay and then close the loop open up this loop right here add this piece of the links that we created open up the other one add this one right here and close it open up this loop and add this chain right here to this so basically we cut the chain at three inches and added these links to it i guess now it will be clear for you guys it has that pink hue too so it really looks very pretty for me so that's done one part of the chain the next part of the chain what i'm going to do is we have these um cute butterflies right here these two butterflies first i thought i will keep it for a earring but then i thought i will add it to this end so I'm going to add that. For that, I need jump rings as well. So I'm using, I'm going to put some jump rings out here just in case if I want more. So take it and open up the jump ring with two pliers. I'm using a bent nose and a tweezer nose. The long length of the chain, add it and then this one. And then close it make sure it's completely closed okay we have the butterfly at one end so I will move this ahead so that you guys can have a clear idea so we are working on this side of the chain let me just put it right here this other side of the chain will come like that okay so i have to connect these two so for connecting also i need a jump ring so i'm gonna hold this and open this up actually before connecting we can finish okay this length of the one side of the necklace just put it aside we don't need that anymore we are just working on one side of the long side of the necklace so here we go this is where it is and we have our butterfly at the end so we are going to create multiple dangles okay uh, the dangles will be with the jump ring you can do with jump rings or you can do with um, wire you can do a wire lapped loop but this one is very easy let me try this if this jump ring goes through that yes it does so there we go it's perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to leave enough space so that i don't want this to be 
dashing with this and then I'm just going to add this petal to the chain making sure um, yes and then doesn't matter which one you added I just don't want this to be overlapping that that's why I added that you can see the petal right now we have the green so I am just going to do the green right here I'm just going to leave sufficient intervals and add all of these petals to this chain with the help of jumping it's so simple um, and then right here open up a jump ring so let's see if this one goes through this one has a thicker one so probably i need a much more bigger jump ring let me try something else uh, you can make your own jump ring too um, this one is a thinner one in stash and a little bit one millimeter bigger than that so let me try that okay this one is also not going through so we have to make dangles for that so we will make that but before that we will connect all of these uh, one by one to the necklace so at frequent intervals i am adding these okay just like so that's how i'm going to do so i'm gonna take it and add my jump ring to it make sure your jump ring is completely open so that you can accommodate the petals and then uh, okay now you need to count okay so this petal is um, keep the chain straight first of all this after this petal is where we are going to do okay one two three and then four okay one two three fourth the fourth one i'm gonna add this once again we want to make sure that we are doing in the right side okay there we go and then close it so as you can see my petal is like this one side it's like this one side it is like this because it looks pretty on both sides this side there is a gold wash which is which shows really nicely if you don't want you can put on one side itself so then open up the next jump ring take the next petal this is concave and convex as you can see one two three four this is the one I'm going to add it to the right hand side. So I'm alternating the right and the left. There we go. And then we did add this. Now we're going to add the next petal. This is the one we are going to add this to first i will add it to the chain and then i will add this one right here okay 
close the jump ring. Twist it back and forth and then close it. Now we have attached all four of that and let's see how it flows because we need to make sure see this one this one is the side okay one two three four that way and this is the one first we will open up chunk ring See, this is where it is okay one two three four this is the one and I'm gonna put it in the chain first okay and then <clears throat> add my petal take your pliers it's a little bit tough to hold but it's doable there we go and then close it make sure your jump ring is completely closed there we go i did add up the add all of these now uh we have to add the green ones we have to make dangles for this i'll come back so here i went ahead and did a small wire wrap look for this green thing it looks good so i have made some dangles in the leftover wire that i used for um means i got some head pins and then i made some dangles so let me tell you guys you can eye pins and um, this is a head pin so i added the bead see i created an angle like this here also you can do with an um with just wire 20 gauge wire or 24 gauge wire or 22 gauge wire you can take any of those if i'm using 24 gauge wire normally i do a wrap loop this one is a 24 gauge stainless steel wire because the chain is stainless steel i kind of thought this one will look good but um to be frank only the bright silver looks good i don't know why but you can use either so i have created some dangles let me do tell you guys how to create these dangles just add a bead to a head pin then this one is i think 20 gauge head pins and so it's nice and sturdy you don't need a wrap loop you just need a basic loop so i just bent the wire about 60 degrees or so and then i cut about one centimeter after one centimeter i save this um, excess wire so that i can do the next angle so i take the round nose pliers and then make a loop there we go our dangle is ready so i made this dangle uh, you can make multiple dangles like this with head pins or for example with one head pin i made this and then i have left over this what i do with this leftover is uh, take my tweezer nose pliers and bend the end of this wire just a bit like make a u and then squish the u just like that to create a stopper for your bead and then all you need to do is pick up a bead add it to this one and then bend the rest of the wire to 90 degrees and then snip off about leaving about a centimeter for you to work with and then make a loop so this is your own head pin the ones that you make um, we can utilize all the pieces and make like this or like this or like this doesn't matter for me on this one i'm going to add it right next to our um, butterfly because it kind of looks really good or we can add it here it's totally up to us like this or this okay so we are going to create multiple dangles this by cones are from a stash it's pink and i tried the red the red base more red red like um, 
uh, more uh, towards siam red or blood red this bead is very special right it has that red and the pink hue so i thought why not take the pink and then do it so this one is metallic on one side and translucent on the other and i bought this from aliexpress and um, so that's what i'm going to use uh, for this i think that color goes very well with the pink i mean with the green and uh, it has the hue of the pink so i wanted to add that one um as such so what i'm going to do is i'm going to randomly uh, uh add these or you can not randomly add this you can actually fill up the loops in between the uh, all the petals that you have added so i am going to add only up till this okay i'm not going to add any more but i'm going to only add up till this but you can do that so that's what i'm going to do it here make sure my chain sits right where it's supposed to sit okay there we go and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this bead right here open up my loop and add it right next to the um see there is this and then just the second link of the chain that's where i'm gonna add there is a um, jump ring and then two chain link the second link from the last okay so now we have this right here and then what i'm going to do is we are just basically going to fill up the place right so you can either choose a green to go here which i'm gonna do the green leaf so i'm gonna take my 24 gauge wire i'm not gonna cut before i'm just going to add my leaf to the 24 gauge wire okay just like that about say an inch or so let me see yes leave about an inch it's got to leave an inch um, and then fold these two wires just like so right above the leaf and make a v just like so then what i do is i take the ones that is attached to my uh, uh, spool and then i wrap it twice just twice that way i don't waste any wire i just snip off the excess wire with the spool attached now i have this so go ahead and tuck that short tail that you have right there and now you have this now what i'm going to do is take my round nose pliers keep it right on top of the loop that created that i created okay let me see if the camera is focusing there's too much things okay and then i'm gonna just going to bend my wire like that then reposition my pliers and then bend it all around okay now we have a loop make this a little bit bigger loop and then all i'm going to do is see this um This is where mine is. So after the bead, the bead is in the second link. Okay. And so I'm going to calculate from the petal. So from the petal uh, to the, hold on, to the butterfly, right? Let me see if the butterfly sits perfectly. No, that's okay from the leaf one two three four five six right there one one two three four the fourth one i'm just going to add this on this side on the left hand side 
because my that petal is on the right hand side one this on the left hand side i add it before i'm closing the loop now i'll go ahead and close the loop and do two wraps until i reach the bottom wrap and okay and then i snip it off it just spoke to me i keep a small uh, container for small uh, stuff like this otherwise it goes all over the place and you can get hurt by it so i tucked in the tail and we have attached that leaf so this is how i'm going to attach the entire thing with uh, uh, beads and the leaves okay now i will take this um this bicone the pink bicone and i will add it here right next to the green um leaf okay so you randomly place it and then the green bicone right over here the same like that and then like this so what i i can do is i can add a corresponding uh different color like opposite color to the same to the, see for example if i'm doing the green um leaf in the same loop this i did on the left hand side left hand side of the chain so the right hand side of the chain the same loop i can add this bicone or i can do it in a different uh, loop altogether but this one is good i guess this way it will be easier to remember to add a bicone to the same loop that you added the leaf okay there we go and then close the loop like this i'm going to add several beads all over the chain and i'll see you guys back hi friends i went ahead and added the beads on alternative um, chain spaces if i hold it like this it's like this when i put it down it comes on to one side but i did alternate and find spaces in between and i added wherever i can you can load this with all sorts of beads like um, the ones that we got from the box like for example you can uh, do these beads also I didn't do it but you can uh, as well do it so I wanted to add this um, thing also but this is a purple one so I'm still thinking whether to add it or not so I'm happy with um, these these mini dangles see I've added a couple of pie cones and the leaves and stuff like that so um, and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to bring in the other chain that we had and then the other chain is supposed to hang here okay over here that's where it's supposed to hang um, So I'm just putting the toggle in so that I know for sure where I need to add this chain. So I just come in with a jump ring. Add the end of the chain to this. I'm just holding it like that and finding the sweet spot in the chain and you can do it that way or you can find it like this okay and add it here just like so
and close your jumping shut so you can stop your necklace at this point of time and have this like this right you can have it like that or what I am going to do here is I am just going to cut my chain out here okay right after this just going to cut my chain out here So I need the last link there we go okay over here I am going to take some 20 gauge wire this is 20 gauge wire that a wire I'm using and then I'm going to add some beads here um, so I am going to have this thing going down there and then I am going to add the I have we have some spaces out here which really looks pretty in the box so I am just going to add a bicone a spacer then this round bead that we have right here that we are using throughout the necklace and one more bead cap it fits perfectly on this bead okay and then what I'm going to add is I'm gonna add a green one right here no I'm gonna add only pink ones how about that okay because we have green and pink here I'm just going you can just add this or you can just add one pink and one green this also looks good all I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this wire at 90 degrees about a centimeter or so take my round nose pliers and make a loop and then bend the rest of the wire snip it about a centimeter take your round nose pliers and make a loop there we go we did we did make the connection okay and then I want to open up one of the loop right here and then add this end of the chain to the loop and close it and then open up the other loop just like how you would open a jump ring add this um, this one right here and then this chain right here okay then close the loop make sure you close the loop shut this is what you have right now okay so this is what we have right now and from this I am going to actually this one is not sitting right so probably we need to add a jump ring okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off add this chain to it and close this loop completely and then add a jump ring take my bent nose pliers and open it up just like so then add it to this loop and then add this one to it and close it okay this is what we have so far now I am going to do is take the chain the leftover chain how much ever is left over just take it and so I want some dangle chain dangles here just like so okay this is uh, a design inspired by Pinterest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a head pin 
you can also take a knife pen whichever you have available okay take the chain and add it to the head pin this way whenever you cut the chain you will get the exact same length so i want this to be at least this long okay i am not measuring but if you want i can measure this so i would say about uh, let me see so this is going to be the chain this is going to be the dangle yes i want about two inch okay let's see two inch just holding this i'm just going to snip off here take my ruler off all you need to do is add the next piece of chain to the set pin now the chain will sit perfectly down now you will not miss anything so you will have exact number of chain lengths as possible okay so you just hold it like this and you will see where you want to cut okay and then the same again load the end of your chain link to your head pin and then now you know the length right just like so snip it off the next one and then one more I need at least five of these okay now we have our links now I'm going to add these links to this so what I'm going to do is keep my eye pin right there head pin right there okay take a jump ring open it up then by holding this add the end loops to the chain to the jump ring okay just like that now you can take off the head pin so everything is perfectly in this jump ring all you need to do is add it to this link and then close your jump ring Shut. the necklace is ready i hope you guys like this design if you do please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications i do upload videos every day around 5 pm pacific standard time okay so this is the necklace it's um, asymmetrical and this is the design if you want you can add a dangles up till here so that there is no um, no gap here i would like to add some more if you can so this is how my design is i think the necklace looks really pretty i hope you guys like this if you do please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and share my channel we are heading towards thousand subscribers and i'm gonna do a giveaway for thousand subscribers and uh, uh, yes please share it so that we can reach thousands uh, soon thank you have a good day bye